So here we have a market for strawberries settled at an equilibrium state. Now let's say that the government tells us that strawberries have an added health benefit and this increases demand because consumer preference for strawberries have increased and the demand curve shifts to the right. Now, consumers are willing to pay a higher price for strawberries because at the original equilibrium price, more people are willing to buy strawberries for the added health benefit, and quantity demanded increases. However, producers are still only willing to produce QE units of strawberries at the original price, and there arises a situation in which quantity demanded exceeds quantity supply, and this is called excess demand, which creates an upwards pressure on price shown by the higher price that consumers are willing to pay for strawberries. Now, this higher price first acts as a signal to communicate to producers that strawberries have gotten more expensive. Therefore, this price acts as an incentive for producers to produce more strawberries in order to sell them at a higher price to increase profitability. This is shown by a rightwards movement along the supply curve, where the producers are willing to produce a higher quantity to sell at a higher price. Now, this increased price also acts as a signal to tell consumers that strawberries have gotten more expensive and therefore it acts as an incentive for them to buy less strawberries at the higher price. This is shown by a leftwards movement along the demand curve where consumers are willing to buy less strawberries and pay not so high a price. With price acting as signals and incentives, the two forces shown on the diagram work together to reallocate the resources in the market and work together to determine a new equilibrium quantity and price, Q star and P star. This market mechanism is known as the invisible hand of the market, coined by Adam Smith, that illustrates the signaling and incentive functions of price that reallocates resources when prices change as a result of a change in demand conditions. And now we have a new equilibrium in which the excess demand has been eliminated and quantity supplied is once again equal to quantity demanded. Settling at a new equilibrium after decreases in demand or changes in supply conditions can also be illustrated using the same mechanism.